it's time to plant my first early potatoes and as usual I'll be doing it in containers but does pot size matter? That's what I'm going to be put into the test. I'm going to be trying one seed potato in three different pot size. We've got here a 10 litre pot, a 15 litre pot and this is why I always grow all my second early and main crops in which is a 20 litre pot. I'll be planting one seed potato in each and we'll see what the results are when I harvest them in about eight to ten weeks time. The potting mix that I'll be using is a combination of my own homemade compost with some well-rotted manure as well as a sprinkling of blood fish and bone which is what I always add to all of my potato pots and then get a really good mix. That manure is going to help with water retention the blood fish and bone will help with nutrients and my own homemade compost will add a bit of drainage and micronutrients as well. So to start with I'm going to fill my potatoes with a couple of inches on the bottom of compost but for the smallest pot I might only put about an inch in because there's not a great deal of depth. Now the main issue with growing your potatoes in pots is the water. Water retention is key because pots obviously quite dry out quite quickly. But with these being uh, first early, they're going to skip all of that summer heat wave temperatures because we'll be harvesting before then before all of that. That's 15 litre and my great big 20 litre pot. Now these pot sizes, obviously, they can be expensive to buy, but if you go around to your nurseries or perhaps you've got a regular garden centre that you go to and they might know you quite well just ask around they might have these pots that they can give you out for free not everybody does but it's worth asking I haven't grown first early potatoes for quite a few years and the variety I've shown this year is called Lady Crystal and it's a very waxy salad potato that's great for boiling it's good for sauteing or steaming putting in a potato salad and it's got a really really good flavour so I'm told it's not a variety that I've grown before, so I'm really excited to give it a try. So these are our three seed potatoes, and they've chitted quite nicely. I've got lots of little shoots on there. And these will be planted upwards like this. So all the chits point up to the sky. And I'm just gonna put one potato in each pot. No cutting of them, no rubbing of any shoots. I'm just gonna plant them as they are. Now all that's left to do is to top them up with the remainder of my compost mix. Now I'm just going to fill these right to the top and you might be wondering about the process called earthing up where traditionally if you were planting your potatoes in a long trench in the ground you would wait for the foliage to come up and then you'd pile on more compost or more soil to encourage that shoot to keep growing up and up and hopefully get a bigger harvest but with containers I find because they're so quick anyway you can earth it up as you go but especially for something of this pot size by the time you earth it up once you're going to have to fill it up again anyway so I much prefer to fill them up the whole way from the get-go because it saves a lot of time and it means your potatoes aren't going to dry out if you have a hot day and a pot with barely any compost Yes, typically I would use a spade, but I uh, have misplaced it. <laughs> I will be filling this with as much of my compost mix as I can, because I'm expecting it to drop quite a bit after we get some rain as all those air pockets escape. So that's the potatoes all planted with the same compost mix, so it's all a fair test, and I'll be watering them as equally as I can between them if I need to, hopefully we'll have enough rain to help do that for me. And because they're first early, I'm expecting these to take eight to 10 weeks until we harvest them, which in my rough calculations is probably about late May, early June, which is when we'll come back and harvest them. I will get out my scales and weigh them so we can see exactly what the results are for science. <laughs> So do make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss that episode. And now all I've got to do is position them somewhere where they get plenty of sunshine. It can be on top of soil, on top of grass, on a patio. Just bear in mind that where you position them can mean that they dry out a bit quicker. Um, so do watch out for that. I just tend to sink them into the soil slightly by twisting the pot like that. And maybe putting the soil around the base of the pot just so that they can actually root further down into the soil if they want to. 
let me know in the comments which first early potato you're growing uh, which of these do you think will give the best results we'll have to see <laughs> do make sure you're subscribed so you can see the results of this experiment and whilst you're here if you enjoy potato videos i've got plenty more of them thanks for watching and i'll see you real soon